What do you like about theatre? When it works, the universality of connection is a spiritual thing. It's, it's only happened a few times. It's when um, you and the audience are breathing as one. Your thoughts are one. I think that's the spiritual truth of all of us. And we get to touch that every so infrequently in theatre. That's to me, is those, those are the precious moments in theatre. When you actually, when you breathe, you're breathing together. There's not, there's not a, you, it's almost effortless when it happens. You know, you can lift a finger and suddenly, you know, they know exactly what you mean with that lifting of the finger. You can have a thought and you can just have the thought and they're connected. And that's happened, that's happened maybe twice in my life on stage. And it's exquisite. In comedy or drama? In drama. I don't see, I, I did a lot of comedy when I was younger. I, I don't like doing comedy. I don't know why. Because, oh, God, this interview is a no, series I, of total wild surprises. What do you mean you don't like doing comedy? You're incredibly funny. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Rick, that's serious. I, I find it, it's frivolous. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. I, love to, I like to laugh. I don't like to be the person that makes people laugh. I'd rather make people cry. You're joking. Yeah. I'm not joking. Serious, yes. What do you mean you don't like to be the person who make people laugh? You make us laugh and we love you because you make us laugh. I just think it's another form of acting. I don't think of it in terms of being a comedic actor or, or a, a tragedian. I think of it as being, you know, just as part of the, I guess, the vocabulary we have. It's the array of characters we can play. That's what's important to me. If you can make people laugh, that's great. But it's not that important. It's make people believe that you're making them laugh because mm -hmm. it's, it's essential to your nature. It's not essential to my nature. I'm the antithesis of that. Does that make sense? It does. You mean you are totally a, a positive, reaffirming kind of person and performer, but we also know, as all of us, we all have pain and darkness that we're yeah. dealing with, but Rick's way he operates with the world is to put the positive forward all the time, for yeah. which we thank you because it turns up in your shows. Oh, thank you, thank you. Can you talk to me, because you say then, right, you make us laugh, but... I was going to say something funny just now, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a contradiction again, sorry. <laughs> comedy, farce, comedy, drama, tragedy. Mm -hmm. Are they different in Rick's world? They're different, yes. Because you say that well, you're just playing a part when you make people laugh. But I go, no, you're an amazing comedian, and you're making me laugh. And you say, no, Rick says, no, no, I'm just playing a part. Yeah. What do you mean? You're playing Edgar, and you're making me laugh? What is this? Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's, if I'm playing Edgar, and I'm making you laugh, then I haven't done my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done my he's job. gone crazy. <laughs> Look at oh, that. it's so funny. He's madcap. Oh, well, he's mad, but I'm, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm serious. I don't, yeah, I think it's just part of, what we do it's it's actors love to have a laugh because it's a positive reinforcement that's the old adage but i think what happens there is something connective and that's nice but it's yeah it's just it's just another means of connecting it's not the only means so you're saying connecting through laughter and connecting through tears are basically the same thing yeah that i would say yes it's connection and that's what we're all searching for, you know. And I think that's, a lot of times, that's what actors are looking for. So you are talking about the, the film between tragedy and comedy. It's just a tiny film that separates them. You yeah. either laugh or you cry. And often, you know what the most, the best parts to do are the ones when you do both? Yeah. yeah. One of the best bits of advice someone I can't remember told me, find the comedy in the tragedy and find the tragedy in the comedy. That's right. And that's been a touchstone for me. Yeah. So that's how you make those incredibly comic characters. Your secret is revealed. Oh dear. You don't see yourself as a comedian, do you? Uh, or maybe you do. No, I don't. I think that I've been given a lot of comic roles, but I don't. You have comic elbows. You have comic bones. Mm. I you do. I'm not, I, I'm not just before the interview started, you did a little thing on the chair. It was all very funny. 
So where does the comedy come in? Because when you do comedy as a character, I see you use your body in a way, Pooba, that is incredible. 